More from Julia Lee from Bell Direct. A bit more analysis in terms of today's trading. What have you made of it so far, Julia? James, it's a bit of a disappointing session after we saw the US market gaining more than 1% overnight. And it does look like the market's torn between some optimism around possible policy responses which drove overnight markets and what's happening in terms of the European debt situation. So if we have a look at some of the positives overnight, we did see the Chicago uh, Fed president coming out to talk about how he would support growth measures to try and help the growth of jobs along quicker in the US and also some speculation that we could see some coordinated action out of the G20 meeting over the weekend. But on the negative side, we did see Spanish 10-year yields reaching a post-euro high High, hitting as high as 6.85 percent overnight and Fitch warning that Spain probably wouldn't be meeting its budget deficit targets. So altogether Spain still very much in focus. If we have a look around the market today we are seeing most sectors trading lower. The sectors which are gaining are those defensive areas like the healthcare, uh, the telecom as well as the utility space which still remain in the black and of course capital raisings in focus. Last week we saw Brambles and 10 coming out with capital raisings. Today we've seen Sundance out with a $40 million capital raising and we're still awaiting the details of the Echo uh, Entertainment capital raising but the Fin Review putting that at about $400 million. So altogether unfortunately we were off to a good start this morning after the positive leads from offshore but they've all been given back in the Australian market now in the red. Yeah computer share also in focus to an extent. A uh, write down what have you made of it? Usually when you see a company come out with a write down you see a negative impact in terms of the shares but computer shares have actually gone the other way today with a rise of more than 1%. Now the company has said that problems in Europe is causing a write down to its European business in the order of 55 to 65 million dollars. But despite the write down we've seen this uh, just absorbed into the full year forecast and the full year forecast remains the same. So they are still predicting earnings to fall by 10 to 15% but that forecast has remained unchanged and the come and the market seems to be uh, buoyed by that announcement that the full year earnings will remain the same. If we have a look at the outlook for computer share we know that market activity has been subdued and because of some of the big acquisitions it's made uh, over the years including uh, Bank of New York Mellon um, and some other US businesses it does remain highly geared to that US market so if we do see an uptick in volumes as well as corporate actions that would be a positive for computer share going forward but also together a positive uh, impact on its shares from its announcement today. The shares actually trading up 1.1 percent. Julie, could it be a candidate to, to join the ever-growing list of, of capital raisings to hit our market in, you know, looking to, to pay down some of the debt that it's accrued? Computer Share has made a number of acquisitions um, over the past year and I guess one of the things with Computer Share is, is that it's probably at the lows of the cycle given the market activity at the moment. What we will see though is after this particular financial year is we should see some of the synergies from its acquisitions flowing through. So that should really help to bolster our earnings. So Computer Share, um, the market really not seeing a likelihood in terms of a capital raising uh, for the shares. It is expected to see its earnings decrease increase by 10 to 15 percent but in the next financial year in FY13 we are going to see a boost out of some of the synergies from the acquisitions it's made and of course it is dependent on market activity if we do see a prolonged slump in market volumes as well as corporate activity then that would be a negative for computer shares down the track and that would increase the chances of a capital raising down the track.